authority to lose. Matthew 16, 18 through 19. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This week, as we continue talking about exercising our spiritual authority and learning different ways in which we exercise this authority to bring the influence of God's kingdom into our realm, uh, on the program today, we want to talk about exercising authority to lose. To lose means to permit, to allow, or to release somebody. And Jesus talking about the church, he says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, meaning the authority of God's kingdom is vested in the church. It means God's people. It includes you, it includes me. So we have the authority to bind and to lose. To lose is to set somebody free from something. It is to release somebody from what is holding them. A classic example would be in that of Luke the 13th chapter, where Jesus sees a woman who's been bound by Satan for 18 years. And he says, woman, you are loosed from your infirmity, meaning I'm releasing you from this infirmity. So we must learn to exercise our authority by losing or releasing people from what Satan has put upon them. So this is how you would do it. You say, in Jesus' name, I release you from this bondage or that, or that a person is having. So let's say they're addicted uh, to some kind of thing. You say, in Jesus' name, I lose you, I release you from that addiction or from that whatever is binding them. Uh, maybe they are bound with an oppression of fear. So you say, in Jesus' name, I lose you, I release you from that oppressive fear on your mind. You see, authority is only useful when you use it. It's not enough to hear about it. It's not enough to know about it. You've got to use it. And so I want to encourage you, use, exercise your spiritual authority. God has put keys in your hands. What are you doing with those keys? Use them. Bless people as you exercise your God-given authority. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us exercise our authority and learn to lose, release people from the oppression of the enemy, to lose them from things that hold them bound, fear, circumstances, situations. And we know you back us up in the authority you have given to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.